Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, including topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bida ang agham. Goes mitosis three times in order to produce eight nuclei. First mitosis, then second mitosis, and then third mitosis. Meron na tayong walong nuclei, yung mga nasa baba. Sa walong ito, three develops into antipodal cells. Two do not develop into complete cells and remain in the middle as polar nuclei. Two become synergids to surround the egg cell, and one becomes the flower's egg cell. We are now on step four. So step four naman, the megaspore grows in size and develops into an embryo sac containing the eight nuclei. Ito na ngayon ang embryo sac. Let's examine the structures inside the embryo sac. First, meron tayong tatlong antipodal cells. Then, dalawang polar nuclei which serves as the nuclei of the embryo sac. Then, meron tayong synergids. And then, the egg cell is in between the synergids. How do the structures inside the embryo sac function and relate to each other? Simula natin sa baba. First, we have the synergids. Yung orange, those are the synergids. The synergids guide for the growth of the pollen tube. Ang sinasabing pollen tube dito ay magmumula sa pollen upon pollination and double fertilization. Make sure to watch our next two videos for that. Sa gitna ng synergids, we have the egg cell. The egg cell forms a zygote kapag fertilized na siya ng sperm. Sa gitna naman ng embryo sac, we have the polar nuclei. Ano ba ang function ng polar nuclei? The polar nuclei unites with the sperm during double fertilization to form the endosperm. What does the endosperm do? 
The endosperm provides food and nutrients for the embryo after fertilization. Sa taas ng ating embryo sac, we can see the antipodals which provide nourishment sa egg cell and it also helps in the nutrition of the endosperm once it is formed after fertilization. I would just like to say that this video is just one out of three videos all about the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. And before we have a quiz, let's have a quick recap first. In this video, we discussed all about the formation of egg cell in flowering plants and the processes occurring in the ovule. We have four steps. Step 1, the megaspore mother cell grows and develops. It undergoes meiosis, forming four haploid megaspores. In step 3, one megaspore develops and the other three degenerates. This surviving megaspore undergoes mitosis three times to form eight nuclei. At ang eight na ito serves different functions. Meron tayong antipodals, polar nuclei, synergids, and egg cell. At ang mga structures na ito ay ang nagpo-form ng ating eight nucleate embryo sac. Diyan nagtatapos ang ating processes sa female counterpart ng flowering plants. On our next video, we will discuss about the male counterpart or all about sperm formation in flowering plants. It's good time! That's it! Gusto kong malaman if you really learned something from this video. So I will give you a 3 minute short quiz and after 3 minutes, we will check if your answers are correct. Let's start!
Time's up. Let's check kung tama ba ang mga sagot nyo. Number one, a diploid cell which gives rise to the egg cell and other parts of the embryo sac. Ang keyword natin dito ay ang word na diploid. 2N. Meron siyang two sets ng chromosome. Sa choices, asan dyan ang diploid? We have the megaspore mother cell. Ang synergid, polar nuclei, ovule, and antipodal cells are all haploid. N. Meron lang one set of chromosome. Number two. The number of nucleus inside the embryo sac. The correct answer is 8. Ano nga ulit ang 8 na to? We have tatlong antipodal cells, dalawang polar nuclei, at isang egg cell. Number 3. The flower structure where the egg cell is formed. Asan ang site of egg cell formation? It is in the ovule. Number 4. It fuses or combines with sperm to form the endosperm. Sa tatlong yan, which is found in the center, which combines with the sperm para makagawa ng endosperm for the nourishment of the embryo. It is the polar nuclei. And number five, it guides the entrance of the pollen tube. Ang pollen tube ay pahabang structure which is made by the pollen for fertilization to occur. At para magmeet ang sperm at ang egg cell. What is found sa sides ng egg cell? Those are the synergy. We want to know your score. Please comment it down below and we'll see if you really learned something. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!